Clouds of smoke billowing from a prison in Juarez, Mexico, as police hunt for at least 25 inmates who escaped. Presentamos el listado y las fichas de los 25 personas que se fugaron del centro penitenciario número 3. The violent attack leaving 10 guards and 7 inmates dead. Que adentro que mataron muchos custodios. Pero necesito saber que me digan de mi nieto. And relatives of inmates flocking to the prison demanding information. According to officials, early Sunday, several armored vehicles run by the Sinaloa cartel arrived at the jail and gunmen opened fire on the guards just over eight miles from the El Paso border. The gunfire sparking a riot and chaos that lasted nearly three hours until Mexican soldiers and state police were able to regain control of the jail. Oh, big prison break happening down in uh, Mexico. It looks pretty calculated. In fact, it was very calculated as uh, multiple people died and multiple prisoners then escaped. Uh, more details of how this attack uh, happened and some of the figures of those 25 folks who escaped uh, upcoming. But here's more details of how that attack happened and then how they did then uh, jump and get out of there. Let's watch more. But the violence didn't stop there. What is Mayor Cruz Perez Cuellar said later police had a shootout with other suspects in connection to the prison break several miles away. Murieron algunos delincuentes, tres delincuentes, hay cinco detenidos, pero la información detallada se las haremos llegar. Among those that escaped, members of notorious cartels. Entre los que se escaparon se encuentran Ernesto Alfredo Piñón. Este es el líder de este grupo criminal conocido como el Neto. Including one leader known as El Neto, serving 224 years in prison for multiple kidnappings and murders. The prison is infamous as one of the most dangerous in Mexico. The same place Pope Francis visited in 2016, calling for an end to the, quote, cycle of violence and crime. But the violence has not ended. The state attorney's office said its staff is now investigating the incident. They point out that one particular leader of this whole gang that apparently has been captured according to this. Because Mexican police now say they have their main target that they're looking for who is that eye patch wearing prisoner there. The main target for police forces is Ernesto Alfredo Pinon de la Cruz, 33 years old and he's known as El Neto. He's that eye patch wearing leader of the Mexicles gang. And he escaped while serving more than a 200 year sentence on kidnapping and homicide charges. Here's more details of how they then broke out. Uh, Defense Secretary Luis uh, Crescencio Sandoval said that the attack started at 6.30 in the morning on Sunday when that white Hummer H2 pulled up and a guard was killed at that checkpoint at the prison entrance. Uh, the Hummer fled and two men inside were killed in a confrontation with police after that vehicle chase. The checkpoint attack is believed to have been a diversion for a planned riot that erupted inside the prison is what Sandoval said, a Mexican army general. Prison guards and a reaction team responded to the riot. They were attacked by inmates armed with firearms. You know, this was all very much coordinated inside and out. There's more details about those firearms. Authorities are trying to determine how the weapons used by prisoners were smuggled into the facility. Sandoval explained that of 10 rifles found by responding forces, only three of those rifles belonged to the guards. Uh, also, municipal police initially did not enter the prison as the riot unfolded. The National Guard, backed by army troops and state police, entered about 10 o'clock in the morning. And by noon, they had taken control of that facility. And family members of both uh, prisoners and also uh, some of the staff that worked there were outside trying to figure out what was going on. So you can imagine their fear uh, and how that all happened. More about this connection in and out really fast, uh, Miranda here. Soldiers and state police who retook control of that prison found what Sandoval described as 10 nice, this is crazy, 10 nicely decorated VIP cells outfitted with televisions and other comforts. Sandoval said that one cell contained a safe with more than 1.7 million pesos, which is almost $90,000 in American money. And inside that prison, the military also found a wealth of contraband, 84 cell phones, 285 bags of crystal meth with a total of nearly nine pounds totaling of that crystal meth, along with hundreds of packets of cocaine, marijuana, heroin, and eight fentanyl pills. Jesus. So all that happened, apparently they've captured some of these folks. I should look deeper to see exactly how or if the confirmation of that happening. But again, this is near the border. We're probably gonna get many people talking about, oh my God, they're coming. The prison break happened and it seemed like it was pretty coordinated and also pretty set up already for them to have a pretty cushy lifestyle once they were in there. They were pretty much running the jail, which we almost see on TV. What are your thoughts on this? 
Yeah, it feels it's it's wild because it makes me feel like I'm in Ozark or Breaking Bad right. or something like that because this is something you feel like you only see on one of those drama TV shows and clearly the corruption that we see in police forces in our country is similar in other countries as well. As you said, they had VIP suites almost set up that those men were running the prison practically and they maybe they thought that they were friends, they would get along here, we'll get buddy buddy with them. But it leads to that kind of corruption just leads to danger and harm as we've seen and it's led to a lot of death. And unfortunately, there are family members gathered outside the prison still looking for details about their family members and their friends who are inmates that they have not received any details about yet. So hopefully they can receive information about them soon. But it just it goes to show that you can't, you know, everything has to be what it's supposed to be. And if there's corruption, in the authorities, there's going to be corruption everywhere else. Uh, money will do that type of stuff. You never know who has then been bought out and coordinating with these types of things. But this did coordinate for this graphic nine, because this might be the reason why the timing happened the way that it did. Because Mexican officials said that the night of revenge, the outbreak of violence and arson in the Juarez, in Juarez was ordered by the Mexicles. In an attempt to prevent a major law enforcement search that was planned for Cerezo on number three, I guess that's that one particular prison or area of it. So they're probably going to find out the number of wrong things that were going on in there and be cracked that whole thing down and they're ready to go. Scary stuff and craziness that actually went down there and maybe they have now finally gotten it under control. I'm not sure how many of those 25 inmates that apparently got out that they did catch up with.